Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is David. Welcome to Whiskey Row. Today we're talking whiskey. We talk about whiskey every day, but today we're talking about some special whiskey. So this is an a Four Roses sampler pack. So they basically sell this. It's uh, what, 50 mils, about two ounces, just over two ounces of each of their special recipes that they do for single barrels. So uh, most of you probably know they do like OBSQ, OBSO, OESV. O there's like 10 of them, right? So there's 10 different ones. So what we're, uh, Beckham, great supporter of the channel, great patron of our channel. Uh, he donated this to the channel. So uh, Beckham, thank you so much. Just super, super awesome. Very, very excited to do this. I've wanted one of these, but I've never wanted to spend the money. So it was very kind of you to do that and get that for us. And we're going to figure out which were the recipes that I like the best. I've never been able to do this before because I've never had, I think I've only ever had two or three of the different recipes anyway. I've never had more than two or three of the uh, single barrels from, uh, from Four Roses at a time. So this is the first opportunity I've ever had to do it. The only downside of these is they come in at 104 proof. Now the actual single barrels that you might get in your local store, and actually they're pretty hard to find. So if you get a chance to buy any of them in your store, I'd probably recommend it because they're really, really good for right around 90 bucks, 100 bucks usually. Uh, fantastic, fantastic pours. But these uh, are 104 proof and those you'd get in a store can range from like maybe 109, 111, all the way up to like low 120s. So um, there's some variance there, obviously in flavor, but they're gonna be some variance uh, in just particular barrels that are single barrel picks that, that, that your store or your club might do. We're doing the OB line and then next time I'm going to do the OE line and then what we're going to do is take the top two from each to do a finale. So we're going to do three different videos. Don't know when they're all going to come out so stay tuned but today we're going to be doing the OB line. Now the only problem when I film videos like this when I'm doing similar really really similar bottles like if I was doing all Buffalo Trace or all of these different recipes there's not huge distinctions in flavor usually. So the tasting notes can be kind of short. So forgive me if I do, if I stop repeating myself, because they ultimately they are all four roses. So there's going to be some similarities between them. So I'm going to really kind of focus more so on the differences as we go along. Ooh, on the nose, this comes across a lot hotter than I expected at 104 proof. I just got done filming a short. So I've had a little bit of whiskey today, but not a whole lot. This is really, really pretty though. Beautiful floral quality on this one. A very mild caramel. There's a little bit of a kind of a green plant thing going on on this one. And there's a little bit of a kind of a, a, an off-putting must. It's very mild though. Let's try it. Wow. On the palate, that's delicious though. Wow. So caramel, so, so much vanilla cream. There is a teeny bit of spice, but it has this really rich fruity quality to it. And like I said, the little bit of that floor comes across. Man, that's delicious. If all bourbon tasted like that, we'd be in a great, great place. Man, there's the, the mustiness on this one's even stronger. It's not super off-putting though, but it's it's pretty dominant to be honest with you. I'm surprised how musty that is. There's a little bit of an underlying ryeness as well. Some rye grain. Not very sweet at all on the nose. It's honestly, the nose wasn't that good at all. It's quite spicy. It's a little really bold. Um, there is a very, toward the finish, there's a very, very nice butterscotch though. But you don't get that sweetness at all at front. You get all the spice and the the, the rye grain and, and some other stuff. But then toward the finish, this like underlying butterscotch start to come through and it's really, really nice. But otherwise, uh, overall, this is a very bold and spicy one. Oh wow, the nose on this is so caramel. There's even almost a little bit of a hint of a maple syrup as well. Wow, this is, it's like maple syrup pancakes with some whipped cream. That smells awesome. On the palate, there is so much just bursting fruit. Part of it feels almost like dehydrated, like spiced or a dried spiced fruit kind of thing. Delicious mouthfeel, a little bit of spice. The finish goes to almost like a, a mango or a papaya. Wow, that's really, really interesting. But that upfront dominant like fruit, sugars, caramel is just really, really appealing. And then the finish just continues. It, this is, that one's so, so friggin' good. The mustiness is back on this one, but it's not as strong as the, uh, I think it was the second one. There's a little bit of an underlying honey and caramel. Very faint cinnamon. 
Smells smells good overall. After the cinnamon, actually the cinnamon, I was gonna say after the cinnamon dies down, but it honestly doesn't really die down very much. Um, it's The problem is it's not like cinnamon red hots. It's almost like uh, cinnamon toast, but like super cinnamony cinnamon toast, if that makes any sense. The finish, the, pal the, the mouthfeel is fantastic. The finish is solid. The cinnamon spice though really dominates on this one. And not not like a red hot cinnamon red hot kind of thing though, but it's it's you know like I said more like a spicy cinnamon toast. Mm, that's really interesting. I like it, but it's probably not my favorite. Now of all of them, this probably smells like the most like what I would think of Four Roses. There's just this nice floral note to it. It's not super musty at all. There's very very little of that. Aside from that, there's like a nice kind of mild vanilla cream. A little bit of like a, a white sugar smell a little bit. Okay, on the palate, there's a little bit of the spice like the last one, but it's not near as strong. But there is a delicious fruitiness to this one. Wow. Just tons and tons of rich fruit. Very, a little bit of a drying aspect even. Uh, drying, puckering kind of thing. But then the caramels... And the vanilla creams really come through. More so vanilla cream than caramel. Mild caramel, nice solid vanilla cream. That's that's really good. Even though these are all four roses, these are surprisingly different. I did not think there was going to be as much variance, but I guess that's why people hunt down these different recipes uh, from different stores and, and try to get all 10. Um, I would, oh man, I wish I had these at, at cast strength because some of these are just tremendous and I just would be just, I would be tickled pink to try these. <laughs> At, uh, at cast strength. <laughs> Going back through them and figuring out what my rankings are, I do have to say that I think I was kind of drawn more toward the sweet ones. I felt like the sweet ones had a little bit better balance. The two that were more spicy tended to kind of just be a little bit less balanced in my opinion. But I, I really don't know these recipes well enough to say which is which because I literally have no idea what the different recipes uh, translate to in flavors. Like I'm just not that into the Four Roses as much as I like them. I've just never been able to get them. So I don't know. So this is really kind of completely blind. So anyway, uh, in fifth place is this one. In fourth place is this one. Third place is this one. Second is this one, and first is this one. This first place one, I think, is absolutely tremendous. I think it had a delicious, delicious fruitiness, super, super sweet. Uh, honestly, it kind of tended to go toward a Buffalo Trace kind of uh, fruitiness. Um, so very, very fruity, but yet a nice counterbalance of spice, some really nice sweet notes. So this is definitely my number one. Um, and then from there, you know, going downhill, uh, but uh, ultimately, all of these were fantastic. So, whew. all right, let's figure out what the bottles are. All right, we got our bottles out there. Look how big these things are, man. Whew. I mean, for as expensive this set is, I wish these were like 200 mil bottles, especially since they proofed them down. However, like, it's kind of a, it's really a cool thing. I wish other distilleries would do like sampler packs like this just so that you could get the flavor of stuff without having to invest a giant, you know, 750, 700 mil bottle. Uh, either way, Beckham, thank you so much again. I'm very, very excited. Let's do this. Coming in fifth place tonight is OBSF. OBSF was in fifth place tonight. Coming in fourth place tonight is OBSO, this one. Coming in third place tonight is OBSQ, which would be this one. Second place is OBSK, this one. And first place tonight, our first place winner is OBSV. All right. So OBSV is my favorite from this lineup. Super fruity, super caramel. What is the one that I have here? Sorry, I'm distracted. And it's never a good idea to let David, this is an OESF and these are the OBs. Okay, so this one's not even close. What's this one? Right now, I have more of the Four Roses single barrels in the speakeasy than I've ever had before. This is an OE. We're doing the Bs again. This is an OBSV, an OBSF. I've got one more over there. 
Let's go see what that one is. I'm super distracted, excuse me. So this is the only OBS something that I have, and this is from Sam's Club. Well, the only one I have in the Speakeasy is an OBS V, 60% uh, corn, 35% rye, 5% malted barley, coming in at 106 proof, so a lower proof one for Sam's Club, aged 10 years and four months. Now, what I really wanted was this recipe card, because this actually tells you some of the flavor characteristics of each of them. So now I can cheat. So the one that I put in first place is the OBSV, and they describe that as delicate, fruity, uh, pear, apricot, spicy, and creamy. 100% spot on description of that one. So I think overall my flavor impressions at least aligned, and it kind of makes sense that I would go for more of the floral, uh, full body, creamy uh, experience, and this is definitely up my alley. Very, very nice. Beckham, thank you so much for, uh, for the hookup here and getting to do this. Uh, next time we'll do the OES line, do the five of those. Now, uh, moving on to the next round are going to be the OBSV and the OBSK uh, to the finale. So stay tuned uh, for that. If you ended up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Thank you so much to our Patreon community for all you do. You are absolutely fantastic peoples. And thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. Until next time, find a bottle you love. <laughs>